Hello, my dear apprentices. This is your coach, Mr. Magno. And we are looking now at Lesson 25 from the Eureka model. And this is another easy math lesson if you are focused and ready to learn. All right, so let's read the instructions. Draw a tape diagram and a number line to solve the problem. Remember that these are given to you as a tools to help your brain understand what you are doing better. You may draw models, the model that makes the most sense to you. Fill in the blanks that follow. So there are, uh, we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw again, and we're gonna fill in the blanks and we're gonna use the examples to help us. So let's look at the example right now. The example says, for example, it, look, it says 2 divided by 1 third. Okay, so they represented the whole thing um, 2. Here's a 2, and the whole tape diagram represents 2. And what it's asking us to do is to divide each hole into three parts. Okay, and so that's what exactly what happened. They divided into three parts. Here's Here's one part, two, three, two, and three. So each hole is divided into different parts, three parts, actually in the same parts, according to the denominator. Remember, the denominator is the one that helps you uh, know that this is one third, two thirds, and three thirds. And now they created a number line showing the exact same thing, right? This is from here to here is one third. From here to here, let me use a different color, from one-third to two-thirds is two-thirds. And from, uh, what is the other one? Um, from, let me see, okay. Do, 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 do. There you go. So, and from two-thirds to, two-thirds to one-third is one more third, which makes it three-thirds or equal to one. Any number divided by the, itself is the same. And notice that they do the same exact thing with the second, um, the second whole number. They divide it into three parts. Here's part one, here's part two, and here's part three. And now remember, they have to match. So as you can see, when you do this with either with the number line or with the model, this matches uh, exactly uh, and equally. Okay, now. So they did, okay, so that, now the questions, here's what they're asking us. It says, there are how many thirds in one hole? Well, if you only look at one hole, you know that uh, the um, one hole is this one right here. Let me change the color of this. The, this is one hole right here. So how many thirds do you see there? Well, three, and that's why we wrote a three thirds in one hole. That, and that's the example. Now, now in the next questions they said there are, there are. Uh, how many six uh, thirds in two holes? Well, when that happens, then what you do, you you look at the whole thing. So you look at um, the other hole. So that's going to be three thirds. So three thirds by plus three thirds equals six thirds, and that's where we get that answer there. So there are six thirds and two halves, okay? So that is the explanation of the example. So look at the example to assist you to do the, the other two problems. Let's look at, <clears throat> at the other one. Now, this one is different. Notice that the questions are different. It says, if two is one third, okay? So if this is, if two of the whole is one third, what is the whole thing? So notice that the one third the one third tells you that you have to make uh, create three parts, and there there are the three parts right there, okay? And it says that one of those parts, if you read this um, carefully, it says one of those parts is gonna it equals equals two, and that's why they gave this this put the number two in there, right? So now remember that because all of these parts equal the same, they have to be equally. Uh, divided. So remember um, that uh, what is the whole? What is the whole? Well, the whole should be if this, if this, uh, give me a second, let me get a mark up here. So if this right here equals to two, well, the other ones should equal the same amount because they are evenly distributed. They have the same 
um, the same um, segment. So now you know that those, this equals to two and this equals to two, which um, leads you to conclude that two plus two plus two equals six. So the total, the missing number, that the missing number is the whole, which, what, which you write here on the bottom. Okay, my friends, this is just a video to warm you up for this lesson. Watch it as many times as you need to. Signing out your coach, Mr. Magnum.